Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another review, and today we have a review here. This is a special one, considering what time we're in right now. This is the Clorox Disinfecting 99.8% of Virus and Bacteria Crisp Lemon Clorox Wipes, guys. Let me let me just make this point now. This took me an extremely long time to get. We've, we've, we've made an order for this stuff. Almost a month ago, and we finally got it. It's been, you know, first of all, you can't even find the masks anywhere. You can't find, even hand sanitizer is hard to find. At this moment, wipes are slightly above, below that, and that the hospitals aren't demanding they get all of them. But they're extremely hard to find, sold out everywhere, and it's, it's really a crazy situation. So the reason I'm making this video is I do want to go over the product itself. Is it a good product? Does it work? But I also want to go a little bit into the science of this product too. Why exactly is this being so coveted during this time? And I do want to get into all those different things here. So this container, this is your ordinary container. Uh, this is probably their preeminent one. This comes about 75 wipes, wet wipes in here. These are wet. I think they make dry wipes as well, but the wet ones are particularly what people want. Um, so. Here is the inside, guys. It's going to come in a big roll like that. You would take your wipes and then you would push them. I'm, I'll show you one. So you would take one wipe here. Like that. And then you would kind of just push it through the hole right here. Just like that, guys. It's really simple process. So it, it is well made. It's not just, you know being coveted so much for no reason. It's well made. Clorox is the definitive brand in America at least. So one, another cool thing about wipes these days is they automatically kind of separate for you. It doesn't take too much work. When you get to a new wipe, it kind of, you see that? See how it just automatically comes out like that? Um, if you're not buying Clorox, also the new one's ready to go too, but if you're not buying Clorox, guys, if you buy some cheap alternative, that's one thing you will definitely notice. The mechanism to separate the wipes will not work as well in my experience and moving on from that i love the smell of crisp lemon this is crisp lemon guys uh it smells great it really smells great i love the way it smells i don't usually like this type of smell but it smells good i wouldn't snort it too much because i wouldn't do that <laughs> you know but it, it's pretty good guys so now let's get into a little bit of the science here as i'm using it i got my my desk is a little bit dirty Okay, so the reason why this is so covered is because of the primary active ingredient. It's called ethyl, ethyl benzyl, sorry, ethyl benzyl ammonium chloride, guys. So this this component you see in here, right? This is considered an anti -mic -mic microbial. That's the word they use, and this is a really really important thing in this day and age. Antimicrobials have four primary categories of things they destroy. So, first of all. Antibacterial properties that gets rid of bacteria can help kill bacteria on any surface, which is great. More importantly, an antiviral properties which can kill a virus, most viruses on any surface. It has anti-parasitic purposes, so if you had a parasite showing, you could wipe it up. And lastly, antifungal. I wouldn't put this on your foot fungus, but hey, if you have fungus growing in your house, Theoretically, this could work on a microscopic scale or a small scale. If you have fungus that's humongous, I don't know about that. Because technically, a mushroom is a fungus. I wouldn't put this on a mushroom. <laughs> I would not put this on a mushroom. I would not suggest that. But on a smaller scale, you can. You know? So maybe if you want to prevent the mushroom from growing, then you could do it through that way. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, really, I really don't know. But to say. But that's why this is being so coveted. That's why hand sanitizer is being coveted. Uh, mask is a little bit different. That's more about the exchange of uh, bodily fluids and also air and all that stuff. And this doesn't protect you. I guess you could put it up against your face. I don't know. You could theoretically do that, but I wouldn't uh, suggest it. So yeah, guys, this this is a crazy time. Um, you know, I'll try to find you guys an Amazon link to this, but you never know, man. I, I'll, I'll find when I can find uh, something like that. So I'll try to find you guys the best possible deal I can find you guys. But this Corona thing is insane. I, honestly, guys, as I clean up my my desk here, I never expected it to be like this. Honestly, I mean, this is this is a a once in a lifetime type of flu. And real, it really is, guys. I have I never expected coronavirus to be the way it went to, to be the way it is. You know, I've heard of other flus in the past, the Spanish flu, H one H one N one, 
when I was a kid, the swine flu. You had the Asian flu, which was like in the 50s or 40s or 50s after World War II, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Obviously, Ebola, Zika, uh, malaria, West Nile, you know, you know, all these different things I've heard of before. But this one is the first time in my lifetime. I mean, you could say the swine flu too, but the swine flu had a death rate of 0.02%, which means really... Unless you're you're some type of person who was really old, really sick, underlying conditions, you were probably going to, you know, that's, that's usually the people who would die from this. But this is the first time, and yes, I do agree, there's plenty of people dying from underlying conditions. There's, if you have AIDS, if you're old, stuff like that, it's still going to probably kill you. It's still a higher chance of killing you than without it. But it's a little bit different. It's definitely killing healthier people, too. It's not just those AIDS people, those old people with COPD. So, you know, everyone has to be careful, guys. You know, I've been self-quarantining. I only go outside once a week to go to the grocery store. Uh, you know, we try to do deliveries in my house as much as possible, but there's certain things. For example, Trader Joe, guys, I don't know if you guys like Trader Joe. Uh, they don't do deliveries of any kind at all. They don't do any, and they, they don't have any third parties. I know back in the day, they used to have Instacart. But not anymore. There's no more Instacart. So you got to take care of this by yourself. And it can get it can get scary. So I have to go out. I wear a face mask and I wear a, uh, sorry, face mask and gloves. Yeah, I wear gloves as well. That's really all you can do, you know, based on the situation. But overall, guys, I'll end it there. If you do want to buy this product, guys, uh, once again, Amazon will be down below. I don't know what, what we're going to find, but we're going to see what we can find. And if not, I'll find you a nice generic for a, for a fair price. I'll keep it a fair. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe and like this video for more content. Um, you know, check out my videos, or check out all the links in the description, whether it's my Robinhood referral link, or just you can you can donate to Peebo directly. I have a website. There's so many different ways. You know, I have a clothing line too. So there's many different ways to support me during these tough times. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. And yeah, thank you. Bye.